we're back to the studio. That was a report on uh, the fire departments. And now moving on to another topic. The Committee of Female Engineers play crucial roles in Kuwait Society for Engineers. In regards to societal awareness field, this is done by establishing numerous events and awareness raising activities that serve the different field of society. In doing so, they represent the image of striving Gulf and Arabian women with the aim of enhancing the level of societal awareness of subjects and important issues that concern members of our society. Based on that concern, the Kuwait Society of Engineers organized yesterday the celebration of the Kuwaiti Women Day under the title, The Woman in the Future of the Development Vision. With the participation of a number of Arab countries and the attendance of elite women who left an obvious print in different fields. We shall get to know more about these events and its goals through our guest, Dr. Zainab Al Hajjaj, Assistant Professor at ACK Mechanical Engineering Department. Good morning, Dr. Zainab, and thank you for joining us in studio. Thank you. It's my pleasure um, to be here with you guys today to talk about uh, yeah. Amal, don't you think she looks pretty young to be an <laughs> assistant professor? She's a prof good. Yes, <laughs> she's, she's a doctor <laughs> in engineering and she's wonderful. We've been talking uh, up the air and about the Kuwait Society of Engineers and you told me that you are a member of the Kuwait Society of Engineers and you have a special, I think, uh, committee. branch committee. In it. Could you talk a little bit about it? Right. Uh, so um, it's a woman committee. It's uh -huh. un under the umbrella of uh, Kuwait Society of Engineers. Mm -hmm. It's established in uh, two between 2004 and 2005. And the goal is basically to be there and say, hey, oh, we're there to support you women. Uh, the goal is to support them, to raise any issue they have, and, and, and take advantage of any international or social events to, to highlight their significant work in, in the society. That's marvelous. Uh, yesterday was the celebration. Why right. yesterday? Okay, so we took advantage of uh, that significant date, 2-2-2020, uh, to celebrate um, uh, on a women's uh, uh, achievement, and, uh, and not only in engineering field, but on, um, on a leadership and um, like uh, research. Uh, so we took advantage of that, and uh, it, it was a significant, um, amazing event. It took uh, nine months to do it, and, and believe it or not, every work been done is all volunteer by a lot of volunteer engineers, and uh, we did a great job. And, and this event was done, actually the goal of it is uh, to demonstrate and highlight the achievement of uh, women in the society. It's also to, uh, to, to make it as a platform uh, and tell people, um, hey, they're great women and great idols to follow in the future. And also like, um, to reward them for their work. So a reward is a motivation for, for their current engineers and for researchers uh, and tell them to do more because we actually see what you work, what you do, and to recognize that. So is it, let me get this question, no. Does it only the reward for engineers, women in Kuwait, or in all aspects you gave the award for I know that you said uh, Dr. Suad Al Sabah was one of the uh, uh, people that you gave an award to. So, is it just for Kuwaiti female engineers, or was it for the whole society of Kuwait? Okay, that's a great question. So, basically, we wanted to regard uh, the women that contributed in the development of, of the society, and that's, uh, as you said, not only in engineering sector, but also in a research, in a leadership, and, and not only in the Kuwait, uh, Kuwait um, locally, but also we invited uh, other engineers and leaders uh, from Arab countries. We had more than 10 countries, uh, guests from more than 10 countries. We wanted to tell them, and, and uh, we wanted to demonstrate what, what Kuwaiti women are doing, and mm -hmm. show them what we're doing, and what, what they're doing, so we could collaborate together and work together. So you wanted to create basically uh, role models? Right. And like you network know, together. Give motivation to everybody else who's looking mm -hmm. right. for role models. Right. Which right. takes us to uh, the next question. Let's go back to the title. You know, 
there is uh, like a, def a definition yeah. for, for the vision. It yeah, says development of women in the... Development of women in the future. Right, right, right. So whose vision is this? And is it bar part of a 2035 vision or is it separate? Mm -hmm. And how are you going to work on, um, let's say, applying this vision? Is it a far vision or a close vision? I see. You kind of answered the question. So is it's there a, a plan? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's, it's a part of the vision uh, 2035. Uh, we know that women are half of the society. And whatever work they do or product is part of the development of the countries. And, and whatever uh, we, we're trying to highlight on, it's part like it's like a, a build to go to that path of development. So that work is recognized. That work it, it is a plan to go uh, to to our target. Uh, so that's why we choose that. Well, that's wonderful. So women engineers, I know that in the past ten years, women before ten years ago, engineering for women was a little bit harsh or hard. Have you seen any like different? between now and then as a professor, assistant professor? I see what you mean. Uh, thank you for that question. Uh, back, like, in my opinion, like, I want to share a story. So like, back in years, uh, I'm not going to mention like, a year to look old. Uh, so back in years, uh, I, I, my major is mechanical engineering. So when I used to go to the class, my classroom were like 30 uh, uh, male students and only two to three female students. And it was like, a, I, I like to take challenge, but for other people it was really hard. And also I get questions to ask, what's your major? I go like, I'm a, in a mechanical engineering. And they go like, why did you choose it? It's only men. Mm -hmm. uh, but nowadays, like uh, I'm a, a professor, like as I said, professor at the university, and I see this number were significantly increasing. So we have 30 to 40 percent of uh, female students in the mechanical engineering. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, now uh, engineers become more uh, like female become more like they, they like to take challenge. They don't choose based on what other people are choosing for them. They're really supportive. They want to take challenge. You choose whatever they like, and they trust it. And I really love that in that. And, and it's going expanding. It's honestly not only in Kuwait. It's it's well known. Like things are really improving and changing. That's wonderful. Right. Uh, no, as it, we all know that women empowerment is uh, just a lead nowadays, mm -hmm. especially in this decade. So women are really achieving a lot in all uh, aspects of the uh, community. Your committee, the role in it, in it, the community, in this, uh, let's say, society of Kuwait for Kuwaitis and non-Kuwaitis. What do you give to this? Uh, what, what do you mean? Uh, what do you get, so what, 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 what the participation of your committee, the women's committee uh, under the Society of Engineers in Kuwait, what is the contribution that you give to the society for Kuwaitis and non-Kuwaitis beside the award that you gave? She's trying to say like community work, Yes. Right? Yeah, yeah, what yeah, kind yeah. of community work are you involved in? Oh, okay, for sure. So what we're doing, uh, uh, a lot of engineers that work um, in those events are, are volunteering. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. like, uh, beside their full-time job, they're volunteering. So even what we do is actually a, a great contribution. Okay. So we're trying not only, like, to highlight things and support them, but be there and work. And we, we have a work. We have a potential. So why are we not put in a, that uh, and, and, and show that in, in okay. action or practice? So can you give yes, us, an, like, examples, examples to yes. answer <laughs> Amel's question? Because I understand why she's asking you that, because so far we've been um, getting an idea of like the framework itself yes. but we don't know what you mean what kind of projects what has yes. actually been um done done and finished like is there a, a, a product that was done or or anything that people saw uh, so our work in a community like the female and the engineer uh, we try to watch and recognize what uh, uh, what other women and engineers and other sector are doing, mm -hmm. and actually like internationally how they represent the country, and then when they come back, we regard them on that, uh -huh. and we tell them that we're supportive. We, uh, Sometimes they do some achievement outside, and mm -hmm. it's 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 missed or, or it's not like taking a good attention or highlighted. Mm -hmm. So we try to bring them uh, to to show them. We do also workshop that support women. Okay. Uh, so yes. so mm -hmm. even if there is like a academic researcher and would like to present some information so mm. we plan a workshop uh, we also plan a workshop for coding or wh wh whatever recent uh, knowledge you have we plan it and support women's for that uh, we, we don't only like stick with the social events but also uh, like as a providing practical and technical um, 
workshops. So you're members. interested in human growth in general, let's say, and mostly it's about uh, workshop workshops and also PR yes. for engineers who, uh, let's say, don't know how to market themselves well, right. and they need that light shed on everything they've done. Sounds wonderful. Yeah, really wonderful. And I think also the students of engineering comes to you, right? Isn't that you do workshops for the uh, students or undergraduates of engineering in the country, or they don't come to the society? As I think we have hosted a couple of volunteers from the undergraduate engineers from the university that are really enrolled as volunteers in the committee of women in the uh, Society of Engineering. So. Do they really do work, those undergraduates, not yet engineers? Are they looking forward for working in the future? Do they have jobs? Do they think that the jobs are opening? And about engineering in general, those undergraduates, are they happy to be engineers in the future? Or are they just like skeptical? And my family told me to be an engineer or for the title, just the title of it. Okay, there's two sectors of that <laughs> question. So uh, basically, if, if, if they can volunteer and get involved, uh, we welcome any type of, uh, of, um, of people to get involved, mm -hmm. uh, to, to contribute, and also to learn, to uh, network and yeah. learn. So we, we provide kind of a practical experience also. We, not only this, we also like really encourage a lot of, uh, uh, we, we do a lot of job fairs, mm -hmm. we open opportunity for them, uh, and we always welcome for them. So th if, if, you, if you're really interested, please communicate with us, we can do that. And about part of uh, people trying to choose to go for engineering a program, yes, that's really common, that they really choose it because their parents uh, choose it for them. I really, my advice to you, uh, choose what you like because you will be productive. I'm sure you guys choose this job and you're doing great because you like it. So when you like it, you produce. So choose it because you like it. And also if you if they take tell you engineering and you feel like for engineering, maybe pick a, a major that you close to what you like. B because when you reach in a position where you get the certificate, uh, you're gonna do a great job in what you like. Whatever was the job title, uh, do something that to support the society rather than, than just following what parents uh, tell them to What do. a great message to end this That's interview right. with you. Zainab. Thank you so much. And she's so right. A lot That's of right. you know young uh, grads go to engineering school because the pay is good yes. without like considering the fact that if you're not passionate about it, you won't be able to finish engineering uh, and become